Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about uh, one more program in Python that is random password generator. Password generator. So we know that uh, everywhere we are going to use the passwords, right? So while coming to the uh, email transactions or coming to the financial transactions, so everywhere, everywhere we are going to use these passwords. Now, how to get a good password? So we, we know that a strong password, so a strong password will be a combination of lowercase, lowercase characters, uppercase characters, digits, and symbols so if any password with the combination of all these four categories is called as a strong password so now we'll write a program to generate a random password which is a strong so for this we are going to use the pre-initialized string constants so we know the pre-initialized string constants so for lowercase characters it was ascii underscore lowercase so it will have be having all the lowercase characters from a to j and uppercase that is a ascii underscore uppercase right and uh, digits so it is nothing but a digits and symbols it's a punctuation and all these are in string module string module so by using these things that means all the pre-initialized string constants we are going to generate the password right and this is a random generator so we are going to use the module random random right so by using the random module by using the string module we are going to generate the random password which is a strong and it's a combination of all the four categories lowercase uppercase digits and symbols right so let's move on to the interpreter and i will show you the implementation hello friends so today's session we'll see the random password generator right so here first uh, let us take the length of the password so i'll go with the length is equal to so int of input enter length of password right so before that we have to import the two things one is string module because we are going to use the pre-initialized string constants and then uh, random we are going to use a sample method in that random so after taking that one so simply consider some lower is equal to so string dot ascii underscore lower case and similarly upper is equal to string dot ascii underscore upper case right and uh, digit is equal to string dot digits and uh, symbols symbols is equal to string dot punctuation right now consider uh, add all these things and form a string so string is equal to lower plus upper plus digit plus symbols right so simply just print str so i'll go with the 10 so this is completely this one otherwise simply you can use a printable okay printable printable will also give all the things so instead of writing all the things okay all the things simply you can initialize str is equal to string dot printable so here also we'll get everything so once you got the string now what we have to do just 
uh, get the random numbers okay so for that uh, i will go password pwd is equal to random dot sample method inside the sample we need to use a string and the length of the string so here the length of the string is length and now you can observe the pwd password so 10 so the 10 characters has been randomly selected okay from all the categories okay and we got the 10 characters now we have to join each and every one so pwd password is equal to blank space dot join of pwd so here uh, you can use a complete one password so i'll give nine so the password randomly generated password is q parenthesis closer parenthesis question mark j b g f r t the, the total length of this one is nine okay and if you give some 15 the password will be like this a 15 characters and if you give 20 the password will be 20 characters password will be a 20 characters right so this is a one way to generate the random password random password so there is a another way we can use so we'll go with that one import uh, string import uh, random so these are common and then uh, I didn't get uh, prompt for the length so int of input enter length of password and then so lower length is equal to so how many lower characters you need okay how many lower characters you need so enter number of lower case characters okay and then similarly prompt for uppercase characters the length of uppercase character that means how many how many characters you required in your password right uppercase characters enter the number of uh, uppercase characters then digits digit length okay so same concept so here you go with the enter input enter number of digits similarly symbols we should also use the symbols right okay okay close symbol length is equal to int of input enter number of symbols right so just uh, forget about this length now the first step we are asking i mean number of lowercase characters required for password next number of uppercase characters required for password number of digits required for password and also number of symbols for password so simply password length is equal to combine all these things lower underscore length plus upper underscore length plus digit underscore length plus symbol underscore length okay now now what we have to do so we have to get the characters right so lower is equal to initialize the pre-initialized string constant string dot ascii underscore lower case so all the lower case characters will be in the lower variable upper is equal to string dot ascii underscore upper case so all the upper case characters will be like here digit is equal to string dot digit and a symbol is equal to string dot symbol so we are having all the things now what we have to do we have to form a string with a given number of lowercase characters uppercase characters digits and symbols so i'll use a str is equal to the string okay the string is equal to 
so we know the choice function random dot choices okay choices in order to get at more than one uh, random symbol you we, we are supposed to use the choices okay so choices of what we have to do from which one from lower comma k is equal to what is the length of lower case characters so lower underscore length right random dot choices so random dot choices means it will return the number of choices from the given string so here the string is lower right here the string is lower and from this lower lower is nothing but our uh, pre-initialized string constants lower case letters so the k is equal to lower length so that that was given by the user itself how much length we required how many uh, lower case characters we require plus what we have to do random dot choices upper underscore k is equal to upper underscore length plus random dot choices digit comma k is equal to digit underscore length plus random dot choices symbol comma k is equal to symbol underscore length right so finally we'll get a string so print str for example lowercase characters 2 uppercase characters 2 digits 2 symbols 2 oh we got a string has no attribute digit okay so it was this digits right just two lowercase two uppercase two digits and two symbols again we are having a symbols yes it is symbols right so once again we'll do two lowercase two uppercase two digits and two symbols oh sorry sorry so this is a punctuation not symbols punctuation right so two lowercase two uppercase two digits and two symbols so we got uh totally eight see eight eight characters okay so from these eight characters from these eight characters we need to shuffle everything and we have to join right so i'll shuffle this one random dot uh, shuffle of uh, str 2222 two, two, two. yes so the completely shuffled and now we'll go with the password so password is equal to just to join this one so dot join str and password is password now you can observe so i want uh, one lower case four upper case three digits and one symbol so what is the total length 4 plus 1, 1 plus 4, 5, 5 plus 3, 8, 8 plus 1, 9. So if you execute, so this is the password with the 9 characters. You can observe 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So in that we are having only one lowercase that is a L and a 4 uppercase N, T, B, M and a 3 digits 1, 5, 3 and 1 symbol that is exclamation, sorry, quotation, single quotation. So this is another way we can generate the random password generator right so here we are not specifying the number of lowercase characters number of uppercase characters or digits or symbols right so we are completely taking the pre-initialized string constant and from that we are randomly selecting the given length of password but here in the second case we are not taking the length of the password instead of taking the complete length of the password so we are prompting or we are uh, taking the input as a how many lowercase letters characters required how many uppercase characters required and how many digits required and how many symbols need to be present in the password so that based upon that we are using the random choices so this is random choices means in order to select uh, two random characters we need to use the choices and with a one parameter called k k is equal to the number of characters we require so lower comma k is equal to lower length 
so how many characters we required that comes in our lower length so lower is a string where it consists of the pre initialized string constants of lower case characters plus random dot choice of upper next digits and the symbols right after that we are just shuffling that means we are just shuffling the complete uh, elements of a string and then we are just joining all the all the elements of a string to form a password so that we are just printing that particular password so if i want to get uh, some five lowercase letters and one uppercase one digit and one symbol so the password will be here right so hope you understood this one so in this is a two alternate ways to generate a random password generator so hope you understood this one and uh, if you are having any doubts regarding this password generation feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much